welcome to Simply Set Up. Now today's recipe can be traced back to the Philippines trade routes with China in the Song Dynasty. And in fact, it was mentioned in chapter 3 of my favorite Filipino book by Dr. Jose Rizal, Noli Metangere. And that recipe is tinola. Now, chicken tinola is a really old recipe and it's kind of inspired by like a chicken soup recipe and the ingredients came from our trade routes with China and slowly evolved as we went along. So for this, we'll be needing some chicken. Now, I like chicken to be the fatty part, particularly the thighs and kind of like the wings that are quite more tender. But you can also have diced chicken. And this recipe is extra special because it's really great for people who are busy and are working. So this is not quite tinola because instead of a soup, we're making it into chicken tinola rice, which is all cooked in one rice cooker. To start with the recipe, we're gonna heat up our rice cooker and add in a little bit of oil. Now this entire recipe is going to be cooked inside a rice cooker. Now we can add our garlic, we can add in some onions, and of course some of our ginger. Now ginger is a star of this show because it came from our trade routes with China. And a lot of the flavor is predominantly coming from the ginger. Now while this is sauteing, here I have my chicken. If you're going to use a whole part of a chicken, I recommend that you try to stab it with a fork. Just to cook it faster, you want to pierce the flesh, especially the parts near the bones. So we're just flavoring it with rock salt for the sake that the chicken has its own flavor because we'll be cooking it on top of the rice. Now if you're using chicken cubes, of course you don't need to, to pierce it with a fork, you just season it with salt. So going back to our garlic, onion, and ginger mixture, we can add some bay leaves, and some peppercorns. Now this really kind of harkens back to our days when we were trading with different countries that were so rich in spices. We'll add our rice. Now I absolutely love this recipe because it's throw it all in one pot. And not just throwing everything in one pot, but it cooks really fast too. So if you're busy, if you're in the city, if you're working, or if you're looking after a big family, this recipe is just so much easier and there's so much less dishes to, to wash after you're finished with it. So just add a little bit of fish sauce and season as you go along, since we also added salt to our chicken and that will kind of season this as well. Now you want to kind of flatten the rice into a nice even layer and that will be the bed for our chicken. So of course, I'm adding in whole chicken Completely your choice if you prefer whole chicken or if you prefer small cube chicken. Now, small cubes of chicken is better if you want to cook it faster. Now to this, we're going to be adding, I use one cup of rice, but we'll be adding about two and a half cups of water. Now it's a lot more water than you would normally use if you were cooking plain rice. And that's because you need a lot of water to cook the chicken as well. So you just want to cover it and cook it until you see that the rice has been cooked through, the chicken has been cooked through, and the water has all evaporated. All right, so now our tinola is ready. And if you look at this, you've got your fluffy rice, you've got your tinola, and it's all cooked in one pot. And that just excites me so much because if you're someone like me, you probably want a really easy recipe on any day. So now we're going to plate it. So we'll just get a good portion of our rice. And here I've got a ring mold. Now this is really just for the sake of plating it as nicely as I can. And let's pick out a lovely piece of chicken to serve. I'm gonna pick the thigh part because it's always the pure and most decadent piece of chicken. So it's this chili leaves that we just want to decorate it with. That's your super easy one pot chicken tinola rice meal, all done. Mm. It's so good. All the granules of the rice are coated in that fat that was rendered from the chicken, and it's so decadent. Join me in rediscovering Filipino history and flavors in the next episodes of Simply Set Up. Visit the DFA official sites for more details.